us as an organisation is a very young organisation and in order to set us up really for success, the values are really, really critical to us. So I'd like to take them through a journey about how we form those values and how we embedded them within the organisation and how we use them on a day-to-day -day basis to inform the decisions uh, that we make that allow us to hit our mission, which is to help build a better society one relationship at a time. Those values were not created by the leadership team, they were actually created by the people that work here. Those are the values that made us successful in the first place and will also give us an opportunity to be more successful in the future. When we think about culture, we look at what behaviours do we encourage. So what behaviours are congruent with the culture and then we look at behaviours that we discourage and that culture is then underpinned by those behaviours which we call our values. We make sure that people are rewarded and recognised for following those values and we do that on a quarterly basis. So this is our wall of fame and this is a wall that people go on to every three months where people vote for their peers yeah. about who has lived the values above and beyond right. and we recognise them by giving them you know, a bit of a prize but they also get their picture that is manipulated by our designers okay. so a design that they like on the wall of fame. One of our values is try it, test it, get it done. And what underpins that value is the value of being able to experiment and try new things without fear of failure. Because if we're going to grow as an organisation and actually uh, having a learning culture and learning from your mistakes as well as learning from your successes, it's really, really important. Our newest value, which we uh, introduced at the beginning of the year, is a value called zero fear. And zero fear is about being able to speak up and have a voice and feel that your opinion is heard. And so we're trying to encourage people to say when things are going really well and when things maybe aren't working as well as they could be, say something about it, have that zero fear because we're trying to create an atmosphere where people feel that they can make change. If I was to describe the Perkbox culture, as a people director you know, linked to HR, there is a tendency for HR people to be seen as the rule makers and punishing the rule breakers. At Perkbox we don't have rules, we sort of have guidelines. So we have things like, it's okay at Perkbox to bring your dog to work. It's okay at Perkbox to wear your slippers to work. It's not okay to moan about things that you don't understand. Um, and the reason that these things are really important is that we want to create boundaries rather than rules. And the it's okay to and not okay to really defines those boundaries. But within that, people can be themselves and be authentic. And when we recruit people, that's what we say to them. If you really want to embrace those values at Perkbox, here's your opportunity and there will be no rules to stop you being the best that you can be.